Welcome to the student data section. Um, we're starting to look at the student, you, the student's information now. In this first question, you're entering the information about the school that you're attending, probably during the current year while you're filling out this form. Um, I didn't put a full name in here, but you're welcome to. And what year in school were you during that year? So most of you are gonna say high school seniors. These questions are about scholarships and grants that you would have received during your senior year of high school. And how much did your parents pay for your education? So again, if you're at a public school, those are probably gonna be zeros, that's fine, but that's where you put information if you've been at a private school and are getting support. These questions about, you know, have you ever been in foster care? Are you in danger of homelessness? Um, upward bound participation all have to do with your dependency status and they're for the financial aid office to understand your financial situation. In this section, we're ask, answering information about the student's income. So just like we did for the parents, we're also gonna talk about the student's income. You remember in the registration step, I said that I, the student, had not yet completed a tax return and I intended to file an easy form. And so these questions all pertain to that easy form that we've not filed. And it's recommending that I go back and look at my tax return from the year before to be able to estimate this information. So I've estimated that my total income is gonna be $6,200, that uh, I'm gonna to have to pay $125 in taxes, and that I made $61.50 of that income from work and $50 in interest income. If you hadn't filed a tax return in 2012, if 2013, for example, was gonna be your first year for filing a tax return, uh, and you already have your W-2s, you might want to just go ahead and fill out your 2013 easy tax return so you've got the correct information to use and enter that information here. This section is about student expected resources for the first year that you're going to be in school. This is the year that the application is for. Um, so this question is about what kind of support are you going to have? Um, are you going to be receiving veterans benefits? If so, what are the amounts? How much do you expect to earn during the summer before you enroll during that three month period? And how much do you expect to earn during the academic year when you're enrolled in school? And it's okay. If you really don't know, go ahead and put zero if you have no idea, you know, but if you've worked other summers and have been able to earn uh, and expect you should be able to do the same thing this year, then you would put that information in here. Um, this is questions about if you know about any scholarships or grants that already at this point that you'll be expecting to receive um, like private scholarships, you would enter the amount here and then explain in the special circumstances section what the source of that income would be. If you're getting a tuition benefit from your parent's employer, that information would go there. And this question about the amount that your parents think they will be able to pay for your college expenses. This causes a lot of anxiety for families as well. Um, and we ask this question because for a couple of reasons. First of all, it helps us to understand how close are we when we are doing our analysis to what parents expect to pay. And if those two numbers are wildly different, it might cause us to stop and go back and take a second look and make sure we've considered everything we need to pay, uh, that we need to pay attention to. If you um, just have no idea, your parents have no idea how much they're gonna be able to afford, uh, it's okay to put zero in there. Uh, it really doesn't impact your eligibility for aid down the road. I would say, you know, the best course of action is to put a conservative estimate in there for what your family thinks they will be able to pay. 
if you know that you're going to get resources from relatives or other sources, um, you can enter that amount here, but be sure to explain what that is in the special circumstances, because we'd really like to understand before we take that into account. This section is asking questions about the student's assets. So much like the parent asset questions, it's asking things about cash and savings, if you have any investments, um, retirement accounts, uh, what do you owe on those event investments? So I've been looking at profile applications for a long time, and I would say probably about 98% of the time, these questions are zero here. So don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're entering zeros. But if these situations pertain to you, there's help here to help you understand uh, whether or not you, you should be asking any of those questions, answering any of those questions.